things have been coming in, so Ooh. we'll have to see. Now, Razo has been very consistent at getting second place at WNF, and he really, really wants to get first place. Here, so mm -hmm. I think he's won at least one, though, so uh, he's uh, not a stranger to winning, I don't think. But. Oh, no, definitely not. He's yeah. really good, uh, Daisy. <laughs> I mean, usually the person I lose to isn't even here as I'm hip, but uh, yeah, he should be able to be fine. Yeah. And you're gonna see already uh, Peach, or excuse me, Hazy, I guess, a uh, character with a lot of great burst options, able to get out of a lot of situations, use that float to pressure, just because of that solid aerial mobility and that side B to be able to intercept in the air, and already just the, that the pressure. Disgusting. Yep. Oh my god, it's so quick and it's very much a kill move. Yep. Uh, as far as I know, there weren't any changes to the princesses, so I guess they think that they're just fine as is right now. I didn't notice any. Yeah. I'm just glad they didn't touch my Ivy sword down there. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so yeah, this uh, this link, this team link uh, character that I think is uh, kind of giving, getting the, the sour, the sour uh, reception right now. But I think uh, all the links are pretty good, and uh, Team Link definitely has the speed to be able to catch up and make life a living hell for Daisy. Yeah. So I don't, I don't hate this pick. I really don't. I mean, uh, he's a pretty loyal to the main from what I've seen. I mean, uh, he was playing him at a hat too and it didn't switch off at all, so I think he's just trying to commit to the character. Of course, the game's still early, so you never know what can happen. Oh, wow, something backwards? Okay. I think Raza tried to drop shield and punish, but Toon Link's up B is multi-hit on like regular links. So the regular links, if you shielded, then the hitbox goes away. You can punish and charge all you want. Great side B to intercept. Yeah. But uh, Toon Link's, you have to wait for the entire multi-hit to end. Oh, that, that better not make it safe on the for like a good out of the shield out. And then of course, uh, you, while we have some downtime, as uh, Raza tries to get a little bit more damage, uh, of course the Peach deck, the float cancels, works the same way as it did in Smash 4. Basically your float uh, cancels the, the apex of your jump, which is when you can fast fall. Yeah. So then you can do it initially and you just do aerials on the ground basically. It's a very strong tool for Peach, especially useful for her in this game, especially since there's no short hop multiplier on float. And you can still only float once before landing and then go back. Oh, that was a, that was a really well aimed uh, turn it, but it just yeah, didn't go through. Yeah, he tried to punish that toad. I respect it. Didn't quite work out. That's gonna be yeah, oh, low recovery. The gimp. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, she got the she got the gimp on him. Oh well. Uh, I like Daisy better than Peach. Um, I don't know. Her outfits are better, and she's a little more spunkier than Peach. So I feel like she's the she's the rebellious. Spunk? Princess that uh, everyone likes. Spunk is like the word that I can use to describe it. Yeah, definitely. That's a good one. Yeah, it, besides com cosmetic stuff, some actual differences. I think uh, Daisy, the way her idle animation is, it extends her hurt box slightly because she has her elbows out, as you can see, on like Peach, who has her arms to the ground. But that's idle animation. I don't know like, if that really matters in the long run since you should be moving 90% of the time when you're playing well, it Smash. Also, it also happens when she runs. So she's literally thicker than Peach. Who would have thought? And then uh, I think uh, the only other thing is that on the side B, she just says Hya instead of Hacha, and the little hug gives people enough time to audibly react to it, but yeah, you can't react to that basically from what Razo has told me. Maybe it's humanly possible someone can react to it out there, but it's pretty difficult too. Yeah, these little bits of semantics is what separates the, uh, the miners from the, uh, the big boys. Hey, okay, look at that. Landing with the Nair, not too bad of an option. Carrying yeah. that boomerang, scaring our man, okay. And I don't know what, I think Marvelous Marco was just hoping that he was going to hold shield and then hopefully get a shield break out of that. But you saw Razo got that parry on that boomerang, and then Marco just hesitated very slightly, and it made, uh, gave Razo enough time to be able to find a different option. Wow, uses the up there, goes underneath them, and gets another follow-up afterwards to have to get a same side mix-up. Oh, getting a little result of that forward air. Okay, throwing the boomerang. Oh, well, you can tell he wants to run past. Okay, wow, that shield damage. I mean, I'm not surprised, but yeah, that I, so fast. I need to add. Okay, there we go. Side B intercepts one more time. Yeah, you got to be careful about trying to go low or below the platform against a character like Peach. So they can easily um, intercept you. Uh, it's a quick option, too. And you don't have many things you can do besides air dodge or jump out, but you kind of have to do it preemptively. I heard Raza jokingly say that... Ooh, good for it. Um, I heard Raza jokingly say that uh, Peach Bomb is the best projectile in the game. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he's not entirely wrong, besides the fact that it's not a projectile. It, it's a nasty move. And it's safe on shield, relatively so. 
Right. Yeah, I tried to get it again, but uh, Marco decides to uh, air dodge through. I like the option, I like what he did with the up B. Uh, he could have got punished a lot harder for that. Okay. Rouser trying to call out that Marco's pressing way too many buttons, so just landing with counters. He's getting caught a little bit too early on the timing, so that gives enough time for Marco to react. Mm. Now we're back in neutral, gonna parry that boomerang, get caught by the Zare. That's something that Marco likes to do a lot. Like, as soon as the boomerang comes around, intercept them with the Zare to be able to capture them in the air still. I don't think that's a bad idea at all against a character like Peach. Oh, death. that's, oh, that should have been death, yeah. Yeah, the little drift forward. I think uh, if he just stood there and tried to get a forward smash, that should be dead. Oh, he has a bomb. He should be okay. But well, where'd the bomb go? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it exploded earlier, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. All right, then. I mean, all the projectiles are really good. They kind of send you in a semi-spike angle, uh, and it sends you further now. Uh, same thing with Shine. So it's basically like having a Shine spike off stage. Yeah. So. Pikmin can do it too. Purples will really knock you out. Mm -hmm. Some good stuff. Some really yeah. good stuff. So let me, let me ask you, what do you know about... Uh,